are you kidding? Your eBay sales aren't enough to make a full-time income. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret and I am a reseller. If you are just getting started as a reseller or you're just wanting to improve your reselling game, then my channel offers videos that can help you reach that goal. I'm making this video as encouragement to new resellers, new reselling YouTubers, or if you're just feeling low about how your reselling business is going. I don't normally address the negativity or negative comments about me or what I do in the comments or on social media, but because I encourage other resellers to start YouTube channels or to do certain things, I felt like it was my responsibility in a sense to kind of address this. So when going forward, if you do choose this path, you'll see that there are going to be criticisms about what you do, how you do it, and just anything, honestly. And I, I just wanted to address that so that you know realistically what to expect. My channel, since the beginning of my channel, has been educational, it's been entertainment, and to, to help other people try to make an income or a side hustle for reselling. It's something that I am passionate about, it's something I enjoy doing, and since the beginning of me doing it, there's been criticism of, well, like, who do you think you are? Why do you think you um, should be able to tell people about this or that or the other thing? And from the beginning, I have said, this is my journey, my journey into reselling, my journey learning. I, I am an educator. I taught for 15 years in the public school system and it's a passion of mine. So education, helping people improve is something that I really enjoy doing. And I enjoy hearing about others' successes because I truly do believe that if I can do this, anybody can do this. So I'm wanting to put this out there because I know other people are taking my advice and they maybe are starting a YouTube channel and they might start hearing some of these same comments that I, start, I heard from the very get-go all the way up until now that, that I was an imposter in some way because I didn't do it in a way that they did it or in a way that they saw was a full-time income or that they thought was the appropriate way to be a reseller. There is no one right way. My way of making an income and paying my bills and supporting my family is my way and it works for me. Perhaps it is not your way and that is okay. If you've got tips for how I could improve, I'm always open to hearing them. If you've got a different way of reselling, then I'm happy for you. But to go and start criticizing somebody else and the way they do things, just because it isn't your way of doing things is, what's the nice word for it? I'll let you fill in that blank. <laughs> that being said, just keep in mind, there will always be people, whether on YouTube, reselling in real life, face to face, there are always gonna be people that feel like they have to do something in some way to make themselves feel like they are better than somebody else. So when you hear criticism, take it with a grain of salt. But now I want to address some of the biggies that I've been getting lately and explain maybe why I do things the way that I do. Who are you kidding? Your eBay sales aren't enough to make a full-time income. You're right. They're not. I don't make my full-time income just on eBay sales. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari. I make YouTube videos. I sell locally on Facebook Marketplace. I have affiliate income associated with some of the things that I do and some of the things that I promote. I have a lot of different things that I do, including print on demand. I encourage everyone to put their eggs in multiple different baskets. It's true, my full-time income does not come solely from eBay. Are there resellers whose full-time income do come from just eBay? Absolutely. So it can be done. That is just not my style of doing things. I like to have multiple different streams of income. That way, in case one area drops down, another area can kind of take over where, where these things might be lagging. Ugh, what a load of BS. You can't make a living selling knickknacks. Now that I do disagree with. 
I think you absolutely could make a living selling knickknacks. If all I were focusing on was eBay and I was ramping my sales up there, then I could see very easily being able to make a living selling knickknacks. I just recently did a video where I shared in one month I made $500 just on my small sale items. That was excluding the larger things that sold that were $20, $25 and more. I made a video sharing things that sold for $15 and under in a month. And that income equaled out to a little over $500. So you can imagine if I were focusing all my energy on just selling the knickknacks and things like that on eBay, that with the higher end things and the smaller bread and butter type bricks and mortar uh, reselling, that it's something that I could probably ramp up and make a really good income doing. Why aren't you buying anything? We're 10 minutes into this video and you haven't bought anything. All right, let's talk about my thrift with me's that I like to share. Sometimes when you go thrifting, in reality, you don't find anything. Usually I find at least one or two things that I can walk out of the store with. But what I like to do when I'm sharing my thrifting uh, ride-alongs is I show things that, you know, this might be something that I would pick up. However, they want $6 for it, so it would sell for this much. You know what? It might be a good pickup if I found it at a garage sale for $0.50 cents or a dollar but I'm not going to pay $6 and sell it for 15. So I like to show things like that. I think in reality, it's important to show the good, the bad and the ugly. If you want to encourage others with what you're doing, if, if I only went in and said, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to get this. I'm going to sell it for $20,000 all day long. And all my videos were just like, everything is selling and money, money, money. Like it's just not realistic. Of course, everybody wants to see what's actually selling. What are you picking up? What's going to sell? But I like to show the things that, well, yeah, this might be something I would have normally picked up under certain circumstances that would sell for this money because it's still, I still see it as an education. Another thing I'll do is let's say I found a Squishmallow. This Squishmallow does not sell for a lot of money, but I like to take that and spin it into, well, you know what? That doesn't mean all Squishmallows aren't worth money. Let me see which ones are. So when I am going through thrift stores, that's what I do to educate myself. So the next time I'm out, I know, oh, you know what? That one doesn't sell, but I know that there are some that do sell. So that's what I'm going to look out for. So if I only went in and were, was like, no, 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 that doesn't help me at all. What helps me, what helps you is expanding our knowledge, expanding our education about well, what, what would sell. If there are Wilton cake pans like that Marvin the Martian that really maybe wasn't the best pickup for that situation, but I know that there's a Mandalorian one that sells for over $100. There's a Pikachu one that sells for like 40, 50 bucks. It's kind of nice to know, right? So that way, when I see Wilton cake pans, I think, you know what? Let me double check this one because I know there are some that are worth money. Now, I do have a video coming out really soon. I'm working on it as we, well, not as we speak, but I'm working on it that I'm sharing some more of the things that I've been picking up because some of the things at the thrift stores, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed this too, but things have gotten really expensive. It's gotten a little harder to find things to pick up to flip. And so I've been doing some local sales. I've been thrifting my house for downsizing. So I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I've been doing to beef up my inventory and to beef up my income without like freaking out about the thrift stores being really expensive. Luckily, I'm in an area where I can garage sale almost year round because we're in Texas. But I know if you're in an area where thrift stores or estate sales are your go-to and there's no garage sales because it's too cold or the weather is inclement, then, then this might be something that can help as well. And sometimes I share these local sales on my Instagram or my Facebook. So if you aren't following me there, then perhaps go follow me over there. Like this is a a three piece wardrobe, like they're little Ikea kid size wardrobes that I picked up for free, put them in the van, took them home. We cleaned them up and we flipped them. I mean, they sold the next day for $200. So there's lots of different ways to make money, to bring in an income. I'm going to link a video here about finding free items to flip. And you guys, 
If you enjoyed this video, then I'm going to link a playlist here that I think that you will like, and YouTube thinks that you will enjoy this video. And if you haven't yet, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel so that you get more information about reselling.